Welcome back. So I'm going to continue on with Psalm 16. Psalm 16 verse 5 says, O Lord, you are, a portion, you are the portion of my inheritance and my cup. You maintain my lot. The lines have fallen to me in pleasant places. Yes, I will have a good inheritance. I will bless the Lord who has given me counsel. My heart also instructs me in the night season. I have set the Lord always before me because he is at my right hand and I shall not be moved. As I was previously talking about putting our trust in God and God delighting in us much as a, a, a parent delights in, the, in their children. What I love about this next portion of verse that is really a, a challenging part, it says in verse 6, The lines have fallen to me in pleasant places. Yes, I have a good inheritance. What I think about that is the lines have been set before me. The lines, these lines have fallen to me in pleasant places. See, we, I think about it as, as God has set the boundaries for us, that he isn't a controlling God, but he is a God who desires to guide and instruct us and lead us. And in that realm, in, in, that, in him doing that, he has set our boundaries in pleasant places. Now, that doesn't mean, as I like to say, isn't all lollipops and peaches and cream. What that means is, I believe that he's, he set this boundary for us, that as we move forward, as we're obedient to him, we can trust that our inheritance is good. We can trust that the creator and the provider of these things is a good God. It says, oh Lord, you are my portion of my inheritance, my cup. God is our inheritance. And so we know as, that we are, as we are obedient in pursuing the harvest, as we are obedient in stepping out of our comfort zone, that we would still be found in the safety and in the grace of the pleasant places in which the Lord has set the boundaries for us. And I think that's such great news. That I can, that as I put my trust in him, as we talked in the last video, as I put my trust in him, as I'm his delight, and he is my inheritance, that as I step out in faith, my God has set my boundaries in pleasant places. We know that as we read in Psalms, and, and as we read in Matthew, that it says, uh, you know, in Psalms, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. It says that when the storm comes, that when our foundation is set on the rock, that we will not be moved. And that sounds very similar to, to verse 8 that says, I have set the Lord always before me because he is at my right hand. I shall not be moved. So what is the Lord trying to communicate to us here? That as we step out in obedience, that although it may be out of our comfort zone, or at times we may be going through life and we feel like all is crashing in, or we might ask someone to pray for someone, ask to pray for someone, and all of a sudden they reject us. That we can know that the Lord is at my right hand. I shall not be moved. That as I walk through what seems like, like a dark place, he has still yet set the boundaries before me in present, pleasant places. I think about this one time I asked a friend if I could pray for her and she was struggling quite a bit. And so I said, can I pray for you? And she said, yes. And so as I closed in to come and you know do the church thing of what we do, hold her hands and pray for her, she turns around and she says, oh, well, I didn't mean right now. And what seemed like such a natural transition for prayer turned into such an awkward moment for me. I didn't quite know how to realize, so I kind of chuckled and said, oh, sure, I'll, I'll pray for you at home. And I, and I did. See, she's, she's part of the harvest. She's someone that the Lord is trying to reach. But I still had to step out in obedience and almost put, on, put, put my, my own selfish um, thoughts about myself or the lies that the enemy likes to feed us. I had to put those away and step out into a safe place that may not be safe for me, but knowing that God is my inheritance, that he is my provider, that he says that when my trust is in him, I will not be moved. As I step into those places, that's actually where I encounter Christ. And even if they don't encounter Christ there, I sit to get to still get to know him in a greater capacity. So he is our portion of our inheritance. 